I'm here with uh, Leanne Schmidt from the SES, Leah Ritchie also from the SES, but also with Libby Savas, member for Newland and Assistant Minister Rhiannon Pearce, member for King. Um, every year the SES protect our community in responding to emergencies. Uh, this year we are in a third La Nina cycle, which means that we are seeing far more uh, extreme uh, flooding events and uh, severe rain events, just like it is today in um, October with significant rain. Um, in response to this, very pleased to announce that the State Government and the SES are in a process of installing do-it-yourself sandbag units right across the state, and particular, with a particular focus on the northeastern suburbs and our regional communities prone to extreme flooding events. This is a proactive uh, initiative undertaken by the SES. It's working with our local government and also with our local community to ensure that they are resilient when it comes to responding to protecting their homes and communities. We know that our SES do an outstanding job, but we're also wanting to empower local communities when it comes to uh, sandbags and other initiatives to help them stand up when necessary to do that. This is as a, as a result of internal funding as well as some Commonwealth initiatives to support this project. Uh, but most importantly, this is just another step that, that we as a government and the SES are taking to ensure that our communities are not only safer, but more resilient when it comes to being able to respond and recover from emergencies in our, in our state. I'll ask uh, Leanne Schmidt from the SES to say a few words as well about the SES's response. We've distributed sandbed bag pods uh, around the suburbs as well as in country uh, rural areas. There have been some also distributed up in the Riverland, so we're expecting that there may be some potential increased risk uh, from the rain event that's happening now as well as um, the rising of the River Murray, so uh, members of the community can access those um, packs of sandbags within those sandbag pods. We recommend people uh, get, get the sand or the dirt from their gardens or, or other locations. When we do have larger flooding events or predicted large, larger flooding events, we will actually open up a community sandbag site um, and that will provide people and sand and, um, and we're able to provide more assistance. The community sandbag pods are really designed for individuals to build their own resilience and so we ask them to seek uh, locations. They could go to a garden centre or, or get their sand out of there their own yard.